The federal government has given Honolulu's rail authority the green light to start reaching out to people who were unpaid or underpaid for moving out of rail's way. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and looked into what comes next. Gina? Well, it's a problem we've been tracking ever since Hart itself caught red flags in a former contractor's handling of relocations. It snowballed into a full-fledged federal audit and a mandatory do-over that Hart says will take a year. A federal law called the Uniform Relocation Act is supposed to be applied whenever a big federally funded project needs to bump people and businesses out of its way. The FTA sent in an auditing team in the spring and this fall handed down a stinging report that Hart did not follow the act, overpaying some, underpaying or not paying others. Hart says a deficient contractor was to blame in part. The report included uh, a requirement that we come up with a relocation action plan, corrective action plan. The feds approved the plan just yesterday. Hart's head of the right-of-way division tells me it will now have a team reaching out to 108 relocations to be revisited. It's going to be a huge undertaking, but I think that we want to make sure that everybody receives the benefits that they're due. The audit found many instances of overpayment or inappropriate help, but the feds zeroed in on how to patch things up with those who did not get their fair due in relocation assistance. Hart has been mum on exactly who they are. Masking the names and tax map key numbers with internal parcel codes instead. Always investigating traced several of those by digging through court cases for condemnation or minutes of heart meetings going back years. One was 91 year old Richard Lee, whose company was booted out of Pearl City's banana patch. The Lees said they've been told for years that not much could be done for them, and they were surprised to hear from KHON2 about the federally mandated help and the heart mea culpa that may come. We feel we very happy to hear that the federal government is looking into re reviewing the outcome of this investigation. You and many others might stand to get something more, some kind of more assistance. Yeah. How does that make you feel? I feel, you know, after the investigation and everything, we feel if it wasn't treated, we should be treated right. What kind of benefits uh, and payments might some of them uh, come upon once this is all resolved? Well, it's possible that they were due um, monies for uh, moving expenses or they might be due um, lease rent or other things like that. There are 25 more relocations ongoing right now and more likely ahead as Hart continues to buy or condemn land and clear the way to Ala Moana Center. Those are currently being handled by a subconsultant who is very experienced in the URA, so we're very confident. And they're working closely with the FTA, and the FTA is confident of their work. Now, Hart tells me they have to have all of these do-overs completed by September of next year to meet the federal deadline for compliance with the relocation fixes. Back to you.